Sorry. Yes. Hmm. All right. How can she think of putting her son to rest as work? Because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives. I know she doesn't mean anything bad by it. I know that, but... It looks like she went out of town to take care of her son's body. That's a little concerning. There's Zoogles roaming around out there. We should follow after her. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Yes. What? <laughs> hmm? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. That little speech you gave back there was pretty... <laughs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... <sighs> Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. 
But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way... Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. I never imagined Law would have a knack for husbandry. Makes sense since they're on the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me blush over here. Law, maybe you should consider what that statement actually means. We've helped these people just about as much as we can. We're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hope... What? That noise. Alvin, this is bad. Look at the sky. Huh? What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. 
My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion! Uh, oblivion... Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the Lords for the Renan Top Brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That... I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenegus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on. We don't have much time. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights, each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I... Where are these Forland Mountains exactly? 
Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Loftu marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. your friends, Hoodle? Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now! What should I fix today? Wasabi. Rice! Ice cream! Meat! Caviar! You guys aren't helping. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Shion, could we talk a moment? Hey, do you have time to talk? There's something I need to ask you. Of course. What's up? It's about the doll I used to have as a little girl. I gave it some more thought, and I still don't remember actually receiving it from anyone. You were so little. I don't think it's that surprising you've forgotten, is it? Yeah, but here's the thing. That doll was so old, I'm starting to think I just always had it with me from the start. I know that it's extremely unlikely, but after last time we talked, it got me thinking. Maybe... Maybe you brought the doll that child made with you to Lenegas. I couldn't be. Are you saying you didn't? Ah. <sighs> Look, logically speaking, I know it's a lot more likely that you didn't bring it with you than you did. But you can't say for sure you didn't, right? Crazier things have happened. I always thought I'd be alone, only to end up meeting you and Law and Rinwell and Kisara and Dohalim. Sometimes things happen in life that we never thought possible. You make a good point. I left everyone and everything I knew behind 300 years ago. But now, I'm not so alone anymore. Exactly. You crossed all those centuries to find all of us, so... Why can't a little doll have made the same jump, too? Right? Look, it's up to you to decide if there's any meaning behind all of this. But I choose to think there is. Yeah, I think so, too. There's something beautiful about the whole thing that simply can't be denied. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. No further! Come 
one come all! The enemy is ours too! You'll soon see how that works! Demon Eagle Ray! This one's mine! Double Demon Fang! We have to move. Driven and talented. What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh... My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques, then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles, too. It's incredible and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Something feels odd here. 
Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. You've noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Xion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Xion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed, and yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? to grow. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, have chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, they must have been forced to come out of hiding. This will be 
a delicious piece of cake. Burning 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 Here's the evil. They're, They're all coming out. after me. Stay I'm coming, Manuel. Well. I shall provide I'm a system. Here. I'm here. I'm totally gone. Double Pesky airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours truly. Position, precision, time. This is oh, all a perfect test. Yes, Alvin. That's Very it. bad. Nothing I'll else bad? You take meticulous care Double of your fire. Into the shadows. Who wants to die next? Was that a new skill I saw back there? Indeed. Well, sort of. Actually, it's a family staple harkening back eight generations. Uh, maybe you can just write all this down? Damn it! It's discourteous, aren't you? Now I've seen everything! Damn it, flame! You've got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! All yours! Take it! I can't lay a finger on it! I take this! That one. What about you? Just watch and see! Okay. Anything in armor is all mine! Watch and down on the ground! Shop with Can you take it? Double demon fang! All yours! Fancy of lightning! Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. I see supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zugal cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Volron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along. No choice. Be careful, everyone. This one is in order. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. By the power of God. Tempest Wall. We won that by a mile. This will make us even more formidable. Superiority was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. Your wings won't save you from me! 
That equipment should come in handy. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose, anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renes Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So 
Xion's thorns are... Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenegas along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the Wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that Red Woman has anything to do with the Wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The Red Woman. Xion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. after we pass the peak. La. Yeah, we're getting close. Retreat if you know what's good for you. Slush! Illusion huh. Now Now we're not- Rising Falcon! Slush! No further! Demon this one's mine! Pesky airborne scoundrel! Sounds like a job Demon for you to be early! This one's all mine! The enemy wields our too! Nothing to do about that! Astral energy! Full throttle! A flawless victory! Demon Naturally! Ignite! Demon 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 Dem
Looks like it could be worth something. Refrain from losing. We made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. And that's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. Oh, good. We can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back. As soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Heros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? 
It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. I sure never expected to run into Bregan. Sis. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure is slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrows should be in good hands at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Harrows would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we've visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. It's... freezing. It's always like this in Cislodia. Menencia was most fortunate, I see. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. This time of night ever makes me feel so alive. What goes on inside that head? Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. I'll see you again tomorrow. Come on, Rinwell. Up and at him. <sighs> but I'm still all sleepy. <laughs> to rest here now. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could... <sighs> 
Seriously? I guess. <laughs> what? Hmm. All right. Huh? <sighs> you did it! What is it? <laughs> 